Yes, I'm here. Okay. All right, I'm up, I'm good? Yes. All right, thank you, thank you. So my name is Ashley Bendixson and I'm a survivor of domestic violence. I'm here today to testify in favor of an act relative to employment protections for victims of abusive behavior because I know firsthand how very important such protections are and how a law like this would have made a difference when I was experiencing domestic violence. In my early 20s, I worked in a number of hospitality jobs, and at that same time, I was also in a severely abusive relationship. Like most victims, the abuse impacted my work performance. In addition, though, my abuser came to my place of employment, a restaurant, and abused me at my workplace. On a regular basis, my partner would show up at my job. He'd flag down an employee and demand I speak to him outside. When I went outside, he'd hold me to the side of the building, threatening and screaming at me. He'd also call incessantly, asking to speak with me, something that abusers often do. Or he'd come in as a patron, sit at the bar, and watch me and wait for me my entire shift. None of this was hidden. My employers were fully aware of what was going on, yet no one did or said anything. Nor did I ask because I was afraid of losing my job, which I badly needed to keep. Eventually, I found the strength to leave. Though two weeks later, my abuser returned to my apartment and severely physically attacked and strangled me. I was up until three o'clock in the morning, sweeping up broken glass, mopping up pools of blood, filing for an emergency restraining order at the police station, and trying to mentally wrap my head around what had happened. I was scheduled to work that next day. I went in and explained to my employer in detail everything that had happened. I was scared, shook up, and asked for the day off to focus on what to do and come up with a safety plan. I also explained that I had a limited window of time. My abuser was being held, but only briefly. The next day was Christmas, which meant my time was limited, and the morning after that he would be arraigned and released. I believed that by telling the full truth, my employer would support me without question. Instead, they said no to my request for one day off and told me I had to stay and work. I wanted to walk out, but desperately needed the money, at that point more than ever. I couldn't afford to get fired or lose my job. A day later, when my abuser was released, he returned to my apartment, trespassed, and destroyed more of my belongings. To this day, I feel lucky I wasn't home. When I look back, I can spot many missed opportunities, and one huge one is the lack of intervention from my employers. To work with me to pre prevent the abuse that I faced at work, such as prohibiting my abuser from calling or coming into the restaurant, as well as to provide me with the time off that I needed to stay safe. It's challenging for victims to disclose that they are being abused, but in the workplace it feels like a very big risk. I was already written up for tardiness and sudden shift changes due to the abuse. I constantly feared that if I acknowledged the cause of my decreased work performance that I would lose shifts, potentially be demoted, or worse, lose my job. Additionally, knowing that my employers knew of and saw the abuse yet kept silent was a clear statement to me that support was not in place. There aren't always tangible ways to reduce domestic violence. However, implementing policies in the workplace is one. Policies say you're supported. They can help ensure that work is a safe place away from the abuse, plus empower victims to be more transparent knowing they have support. And for those who don't yet fully understand domestic violence, I want to say this. Abusers try to break down anything that might allow their partner to maintain independence. So they cause issues like tardiness or drama at work, hoping that their partner will lose their job. Workplace policies like the ones required by this bill therefore not only help survivors to stay safe, but to retain their independence, which holds the potential to reduce domestic violence as a whole. It's for these reasons that I support this bill and I urge you to vote on its passage. Thank you again for your time.